The snow continues to come down, blanketing sidewalks and streets. Snow blowers and snow shovels have been put to good use, moving the snow around all day, but the work is far from done. People are now having to go back over areas they already cleared earlier this morning, and one man told us he's making the best of it. We ain't in the Sunshine State, but we in Michigan. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, those in Michigan, they got to understand this is Michigan. So we ain't going to cry about it. We're going to take it to get the yeah. snow blowers out and the slides out and take the kids to the hill and have a good time. But it's not been a good time out on the roadways. Several crashes keep being reported in Genesee County, many of them on our area expressways. It's an uphill battle for the snow plows and salt trucks. TV5's James Felton found out firsthand riding shotgun with a tow truck driver this afternoon. He joins us live now with more on that experience. James. Yeah, David, uh, just to be clear here, I did not ride with a tow truck driver this afternoon, but I did catch up with some tow truck driving companies in Saginaw County to find out how things were going as the snow is falling. And as you can imagine, they're pretty busy. Fairly chaotically busy. The phones have been ringing all day at Mike's Wrecker in Saginaw. Its president, Bill Georges, says his tow company is getting a steady volume of calls today, but not as much as some other winter weather events. A lot of people stayed home, and with the preemptory school closings last night, um, that took a tremendous amount of traffic off the roads. Given that, the snowy weather is still causing problems. This pickup truck hit the curb and lost a tire at the intersection of Gallagher and River Streets in Saginaw. And earlier this morning in Buena Vista, this car ended up at the bottom of a steep ditch and had to be lifted out. Georgia says this appears to be the pattern today. A few toes, but a lot of people are stuck. Um, you know, we've got a lot of heavy trucks stuck. Georges isn't alone. Krieger Towing has seen its share of action as well. Today we've been mostly seeing slide offs, accidents, basic recoveries, people stuck in ditches, it, the standard fare for this type of weather. Robert Krieger is the general manager. He tells us his crews will be working into the night. It'll probably go on until probably 10, 11 o'clock tonight when the last people make it home. And then it'll be just the occasional rural slide off into a ditch. Same goes for Georges, who says he's not sure when he's going home. In the meantime, he wants motorists to be on the lookout for those working out in the snow. If you see the amber flashing or green flashing lights, um, be sure to slow down, move over and, and give way to uh, you know, make it safe for the tow operators and people that are working out shoveling and plowing snow today. Yeah, and then coming back out here live in downtown Saginaw, a lot of the traffic I've noticed is moving really slow. And Georgia says that is a good thing because, you know, if you're moving at slow speeds, even if you hit something, the crashes aren't as serious. And so he is grateful for that this evening. Reporting live and local here in Saginaw, James Felton, WNEM, TV5.